Hi guys, Ryu here, and let me talk to you about custom orientation in Blender, which is really useful for hard surface modeling. So now when you have a cube in a scene and you want to, you know, move it, it's GZ, it's easy, right? If I rotate it, it will rotate the, the Z axis and every single other axis will rotate with it in a local space. So GZ going to be still the global axis, but if you press Z twice, it's going to access the local axis, which is basically here. So local orientation, right? There you go. However, if I apply rotation uh, to this object, I'm baked. That's it. I'm done. You, you, you can't do anything because that's the default orientation of this object now, which means the Z is here, Y is here, and X is here, and that's it, you're done. So the only way to actually move this object along this face on this, you know, format local orientation is to add custom orientation. And you do that by simply pressing on the plus. So when you select a face, or an, you know, well, face is the best uh, thing to select because it actually faces in a certain direction so if you want to move it along this direction you know you want to click on that face so you click this plus with the face selected and this will add a custom uh, orientation in here and now if i go to uh, you know uh, solid mode right and i press gz now it's going to move along this custom orientation and z gonna move it on global so it's behaving the same way as before and that's how you use custom orientation in blender Thanks for watching, drop us a sub and like if you did enjoy the video, and I'll talk to you in the next one.